Using a sign number line to solve a rational expression inequality. So for this particular example, what we're really are concerned with is finding out when a rational expression, a fraction, is going to be of polynomials is going to be greater than or equal to zero. And really the, what we have to remember in doing this is that the only way a graph is going to be able to change from positive to negative is at a zero or at an asymptote. What I mean by that is if we're looking at a graph, the only, say it starts positive. The only way it's going to be able to go from positive to negative is going through a zero, so when the graph is actually equal to zero, or at an asymptote, when the graph shoots down to infinity or up to, sorry, down to negative infinity or up to infinity. Okay, so looking at something like this, and I kind of went off my graph there, but that's okay. What we're really concerned with is comparing this to zero. And the only possible times this graph is going to be able to change from positive to negative is at our zeros, which are going to be these point right, points right here, or at our asymptotes, which are is it here and here. Those are the only possible places a graph can change from positive to negative. So what that means is if the graph is going to be positive somewhere over here, we also know that it's going to be positive up until the next zero or the asymptote. If the graph is going to be negative at some point in here, we know it's going to be negative between the zero and the asymptote, because there's no other place for that graph to possibly change from positive to negative. So that's going to be the key step in solving rational ine expressions inequalities, is knowing that the only place we're going to change from positive to zeros is at zeros or asymptotes.